Hi, it's Shereen from Visions TV Online. I'm here at Integrity Music and I'm here with Lou, Lou Fellingham. 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 <laughs> Fellingham. I'm not American. Fellingham. Any of those will do. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, actually been amazing. Um, I'm actually bubbling. Um, I feel such a great stirring. I feel like every artist even today has been so amazing um sharing testimonies or about you know their journey and um it's just been a wonderful wonderful day yeah it's been really special just to hear everybody's stories you know songs are birthed out of story and so to hear the story behind some of these songs and actually just to meet people it's been really special hasn't it loved it it has been actually absolutely amazing and even to have like the live music it's like having live worship like right in front of you so intimate so profound it's been so honestly i feel so overwhelmed yeah it's been so special i've definitely had a few tear moments that's for sure yes i, I was definitely trying to hide my tear moments today <laughs> i don't think we should hide them we should just let it all out i think it's important <laughs> At one point, I started putting my hand like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I thought, okay, Shireen, okay, calm down. I had to actually stop myself from standing up in the middle of Tom Smith's song, you know, that, that one he did. And I was like, I just want to jump. Um, but yeah, I behaved myself because, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be mature. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got your album here, yeah. Made For You. Um, can you just tell us a bit about the songs that you even performed today? Sure. So Made For You is a collection of songs that hopefully take people on the journey. Um, some of them are directly about God. Some of them are about our walk and our journey with God. Some of them are a response out of that. Um, today, I sung a song called Miracle or Not, which really is uh, some of us are holding out for miracles, are holding out for change and asking God for those things. And, um, and we believe that God heals. We believe that he does answer prayer, um, and, but what do we do when the, the answer to prayer isn't quite what we were hoping for? And um, really just that, that this song is really f permission to say, okay, God, it, miracle or not, I'm going to trust you. Because mm -hmm. actually as believers, we can't just hold on to the circumstance. You know, we're called to hold on to God. So that is what that song is about. And it's so important, isn't it? It's definitely um, very important to make sure that you, regardless of whether you think, as you said, that you think your prayer has been answered or if God's still, you know, in the process of making it happen, just for you to still hold on and know that God's God, regardless. Yeah, and I think the reality is you have good days and bad days on that. So some days you can go, yes, I'm feeling this and I can take hold of it. Other days you feel like you can barely groan. And I've had both of those days. I still have both of those days, um, moments of joy and sorrow. And I think, so it's really important to know who God is in terms of what's his character like, who is he like. And so in those moments when we feel strong or weak, we have to fall and uh, hide ourselves in him and so I think that's that's part of what the Christian faith is about is actually it's having faith in God not in what we see not in in who we are but actually really coming and and trusting him and you know sometimes that's costly sometimes it's painful sometimes it can't be uh, spoken even into words can it we just have to come but the good news is he loves us and uh, he is faithful and so we can rest in that and you and um, you spoke about today as well how how um you need to sing songs that basically sing directly up upwardly to god um not just you know about your circumstance and how you feel but praising god and letting him know i know this is who you are and i'm going to sing it very loud about who you are yeah i think um there are so many wonderful songs in the church at the moment and so many great resources and i love loads of different types of songs and styles of songs um but it, as i was preparing the other day i just thought man we haven't actually got some new songs about just who god is you know the old hymns immortal in, invisible god only wise you know there were all these old things that were just this is who who God is and I think um, for me it, I'm challenged to, to think okay maybe I need to I need to write some more songs just about who he is and not just what he's done for me not just about what he's going to do but just who he is um, so my prayer even now it's like you, you can't just I think it's you don't just want it to be a head thing 
I want there to be a heart thing and a revelation so that the songs are birthed out of revelation. I've, I've seen you, I've tasted of you and, and so the songs to be birthed out of that. So at the moment, personally, on my own journey, I'm just asking God to show me him so that I can write from what I see, not just from what I know. Um, so you you know you try and balance all those things together. I'm, I by no way get it all right. Yeah. <laughs> you spoke about um, today as well, and um, what your future aspirations are, what you're doing at the moment. So you said that you know you're going more into preaching, and that's your you know, next part of your journey. Um, can you just tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, basically, I love to communicate. And I love singing and I love communicating through song and, and still feel very much that's part of what I'm called to do. But also uh, I, I really love uh, taking the scriptures and taking the Bible and um, asking God to help me to bring parts of that alive to people so that it's like you can hear something and it can become a lifeline and real to you. It says in the Bible that, that scripture is uh, God breathed and it is alive and living and active. And so... Uh, um, it's a you know it's a bit daunting because obviously you you never know everything and you know you, you're taking a responsibility but I just I want people to know Jesus I want people to know a loving Father and the Spirit and God and uh, and also the truth that we can live by now and so for me there's real joy in taking something in the Scriptures and unpacking it for people to hear and hopefully bring in life. Yeah. Um, it's also your anniversary today, isn't it? It is, yeah. 21 years, baby. Uh, 21 years. <laughs> Can you tell us anything a bit about that, a little bit about that journey? There's so much to, t to say. Oh, yeah. Well, when I was 19, I moved to Brighton to join a band called Fatfish. We were a band for 20 years, and there was this hot drummer that was in the band. And, um, yeah, he, he was actually a little bit younger than me, so... Won't, won't go into that and then we started dating uh, while we were in the band then we split up which was not pretty and then we dated again got engaged and got married we've got three children a 15 year old boy a 12 year old girl and an eight year old boy um, and yes yeah, it's, it's an ongoing journey I think marriage I think in society as well marriage is not valued anymore and uh, and you know there are obviously lots of troubles in marriages and difficulties and and I'm not I don't want to have any kind of speaking to that particularly but I'm really grateful for my husband and his faithfulness and just uh, the love that God has given us and we also have our great days and then we have our days where we're going ah, I don't really understand you I don't really understand you know let's work this through uh, so you know but it's been great so Nath was the drummer in the band for 20 years and now he plays keys for me when we travel about Lovely. and there's something you said today as well you said you turned to everyone you said I like you and I love that that was so lovely <laughs> well it's true I do <laughs> I do like you I think one of my favorite things uh, is to be able to look you in the eye mm. and uh, say hi and connect and you know share love and life with you I think that's important honestly because um I've before you said when you said it today I was like you don't hear that often mm. you don't hear someone say like just look at you and say I like you I actually just like you yeah. and that's it no no agenda no strings attached at <laughs> well I I, um, I I don't have anything to say <laughs> It was lovely. Thank you. Well, I like you. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. Um, it's been lovely to talk to you and to say that I like you. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. And I like you too. <laughs> Thank you. Great.